San Francisco is one of the most beautiful and interesting cities in the United States. It's got awesome attractions for everyone. From historical museums to breathtaking views and amazing restaurants, this city and its near-perfect climate will make you want to come back for another tour over and over and over again. Before we jump onto the top things to do in San Francisco, make sure to subscribe to Via Travelers, where we help travelers get the best travel experiences around the globe. Check out some of our recommended tours and essentials in the description below. Hi, my name is James, although sometimes Jim, but never Jamie. And in this video, I will show you the best things to do in San Francisco to make your trip absolutely tippy toppers. San Francisco is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the United States. Its beautiful Bay Area setting alone is one of the key reasons people pay this city a visit. The views across the bay are spectacular. And whether you're looking at the Golden Gate Bridge or Alcatraz Island, there's always something interesting to see. Additionally, San Francisco has a rich history and diverse culture that is on display throughout the city. From Chinatown to North Beach to Fisherman's Wharf, there's always something new to explore. This beautiful city is home to some of the best restaurants and bars in the country. Whether you're looking for authentic Mexican food or sushi, or some local wines or phenomenal craft beer, you'll find what you're looking for in San Francisco. The Haight-Ashbury neighborhood is one of the most iconic in San Francisco. It's home to a number of historical sites, including the homes of Janis Joplin and Jerry Garcia. Additionally, the neighborhood is home to a number of vintage clothing stores and unique shops. The area has a long history as a center for the counterculture, and it still retains a bit of that rebellious spirit today. Visitors can wander the streets and take in the colorful sights and sounds, or stop in one of the many unique shops. Whether you're looking for a vintage find or just want to soak up some of the city's history, Haight-Ashbury is definitely worth a visit. Spanning more than 1,000 acres, this park is home to a number of attractions, including the California Academy of Sciences, the Museum of Modern Art, and the stunning Japanese Tea Garden. You can also enjoy a leisurely walk or bike ride through the park. With so much to see and do, it's no wonder Golden Gate Park is one of the most popular tourist destinations in San Francisco. It should go without saying that Alcatraz Island is one of the most popular tourist destinations in San Francisco. The island was home to the famous Alcatraz Federal Penitentiary from 1934 to 1963. Today, it's a National Historic Landmark and a popular tourist destination. It also plays host to concerts, performances, and other events throughout the year. You can take a ferry to the island from Pier 33. On the ferry ride over, you'll get great views of the Golden Gate Bridge and the San Francisco skyline. Once you're on the island, you can go on a self-guided audio tour, explore the prison, visit the library, and snap some pics of the bay. There are also some beautiful gardens on the island that are worth exploring. Fisherman's Wharf is another one of the most popular tourist destinations in San Francisco. It's home to a number of great restaurants, museums, and unique attractions. One of the most popular attractions is the Ghirardelli Chocolate Company, where you can watch chocolate being made and enjoy some free samples. The Musée Mécanique is another popular attraction, where you can see a collection of antique carnival games and mechanical musical instruments. If you're in the area, you can also find a number of tour companies that offer boat tours around the bay. And you should also take a cable car to the top of nearby Coit Tower for some breathtaking views. The Golden Gate Bridge is one of the most recognizable landmarks in the world. More than 10 million people visit the bridge each year, making it one of the most popular tourist destinations in the United States. The bridge spans nearly two miles across the San Francisco Bay, from the city's financial district to Marin County. You can walk or bike or drive across the bridge, or even take a bus. There are also a number of tour companies that offer boat tours under the bridge. Whether you're admiring it from afar or taking a closer look, the Golden Gate Bridge is sure to impress. Chinatown is one of the most vibrant neighborhoods in San Francisco. It's home to tons of shops and restaurants, and it's a great place to find cheap souvenirs. Chinatown is a wonderful corner of the city to people watch and learn about Asian culture and heritage and its impact in San Francisco. While you're here, sample some authentic Chinese food from street side stalls, snap some shots of jade jewelry and ornate masks, and marvel at the colorful architecture that characterizes this historically significant cultural hub. Twin Peaks is one of the best places to get a great view of San Francisco. It's located in the center of the city and offers views of both the downtown skyline and the Golden Gate Bridge. Sitting at an elevation of 922 feet or 281 meters, the Twin Peaks offers panoramic views of the city skyline and beyond. On a clear day, you can see almost every corner of San Francisco Bay and even across to Marin County. Lombard Street is one of the most iconic streets in San Francisco. Its winding paths and steep hills have been featured in countless movies and TV shows, 
and it's a popular destination for both tourists and locals alike. While Lombard Street is definitely worth a visit, there's one thing you should know before you go. Driving down it is not for the faint of heart. The narrow roads and sharp turns make it a challenging drive, even for experienced drivers, and especially for drivers in big cars. So, if you're planning on tackling Lombard Street, be sure to take your time and stay alert. As any true foodie knows, the Ferry Building is a mecca for gourmet cuisine. From fine dining to casual fare, there's something for every taste and budget. And of course, no visit to the Ferry Building would be complete without sampling some of the world-class wines on offer. Most of them from California. Whether you're in the mood for a full-bodied red or a crisp white, you'll find plenty of options to choose from. It might come as a surprise to some, but San Francisco is one of the world's great cultural destinations and its museums are among the best on earth. The city is home to museums and galleries of all sorts, from world-renowned art museums to cutting-edge science museums and everything else in between. The San Francisco Museum of Modern Art is one of the city's most popular museums. It houses an impressive collection of modern and contemporary art, and it also hosts temporary exhibitions that are always worth a visit. The California Academy of Sciences is another must-visit museum. It's one of the largest natural history museums in the world, and it has a beautiful aquarium and planetarium. And kids will love the Exploratorium, an awesome hands-on science museum with hundreds of interactive exhibits. Visiting any one of these top 10 tip-top locations will guarantee a terrific experience in San Francisco. As one final tip, we have included a few guided tours in the description to help you enjoy your trip to San Francisco. So get cracking and get packing. Thank you so very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to our travel channel for more travel guides, travel destinations, travel reviews, and travel tips. I will never be Jamie, so don't even try it. And I'll see you again for the next one.